Hello, everybody. Welcome to the, the class today. I'm back. <laughs> it's been a little while, right? I was away for a few days, but it's nice to be back and to have you all here. I know that some of you will be coming in in just a few minutes' time. Today we're going <clears> to <throat> we're going to be looking at our next um, series in the bu business English. So we're going to take take a look today at how we can agree and how we can disagree with people during business uh, meetings, and also. After that, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, something a little different as well. I'm just having a slight technical issue here, so I'm just trying to get that settled, and and then uh, this will be a little bit better. Just give me one moment here, everybody. Okay, okay, I think that's going to be better there for us now. All right, so we've got 34 viewers, but nobody's sitting in yet. I know it takes a couple of minutes for you to come and sit down. That's fine. But once again, just want to extend a warm welcome to each one of you. Happy that you're able to join us. And as I mentioned, I was away for actually about almost two weeks. So some of the, my regular students, uh, no doubt, will be um, anticipating my return, as I have been anticipating uh, this class with you guys again. I do apologize for some of the uh, technical issues we had a little earlier in the day. I was supposed to have a couple of classes earlier and uh, we had a little trouble with our server so a bit of a bit of a breakdown there and I wasn't able to uh, uh, give the scheduled class so apologies for that guys. All right Alpha Pilot welcome welcome yeah it's good to be back thank you Alessandro, you're late. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just a couple of minutes late. We haven't really got started yet, so that's all right. And I must go. I have a meeting. Okay, no problem. You have to go for a meeting. That's just fine. Nice of you to drop in. All right. Barham, how are you? Barham Kara, or something like that. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name incorrectly. How you doing? Hi, Florin. How are you? Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? You're asking me? Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. I love your picture. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's fun. It's cute. It's a good one, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Where are you from, Florin? I'm from Eastern Europe, from Romania. Okay, good, good. And uh, for how long have you been learning English? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly. <laughs> I didn't study at school, but I think it's it's been four years or five. But I I didn't study so hard. No, I oh. I, I start to study more. Okay, okay. Now you're starting to take it a little more seriously, is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how are you, Ala? Hi, I'm tired. Hey, good. Thank you. Happy to have you back. Uh, me too. How are you? How was your holiday? Your, your two weeks off? It was very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. Um, I actually went to Florida. I went to Tampa Bay and it was very cold there, believe it or not. I had to have a sweater and it felt like it was going to snow in Tampa. Who would have thought? Snow in Florida. <laughs> but uh, it was a nice vacation and we got to see some friends and we got to see uh, uh, some friends of ours get married. So that was always good. Cool. I just would like to welcome Ahmed. How are you doing, Ahmed? Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you, eh? Yeah, good. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Long class. Time. I haven't seen you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, right? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we're going to talk about uh, business English today. Just going to get everybody welcomed and then we'll get started, all right? Jose Ruiz, how are you? Hello. Sorry. I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Yeah, good. I'm really good. Thank you very much. I'm excited about today's class and I'm happy that you've come back to join us. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, good. Right. Mario, how you doing? Hi, guys. How are we doing? Good, Mario. Long time yes. no see. Long time no see, yes. <laughs> so, that was great. Uh, your, your early day was uh, good. It was fantastic. We had a great time and uh, we got to see lots of things. I even saw some alligators. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was good. Yeah, fortunately, they didn't eat me, so I was happy about that. <laughs> Well, I should have brought uh, one of them as a souvenir. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe in one of these classes I will show you guys a picture. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't want to uh, bring one with me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, everybody. We also got Shreesh. Oh, Shreesh just left. No problem. Okay, that's good. Just one little thing before we get started. Barham, I, I had to mute your microphone because I, I can hear a lot of background noise. Okay. So if you could just keep your mic on mute and then when you want to speak, unmute it and speak and then mute it again after. That would be really helpful because it, it, it kind of disturbs the entire uh, class if, if we hear a lot of background noise. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Shreesh, how you doing? Shri okay, Shreesh is having some connection issues. Okay. Anyways, guys, we're having, this is our business class. And so let's go ahead and get things going here. Now, how many of you have to take uh, business meetings? How many of you go into business meetings? It doesn't have to be in English, but how do you? How many of you have had business meetings in the past? Oh, uh, me! I have a lot of business meetings. <laughs> okay. How many? Do you, do you have one once a week? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. In English or in French? Uh, in French, uh, most of the time, but uh, sometimes it's uh, in English. Also. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Anybody else? Yeah, me too, but not very often. Not often, but one, once in a while? Yeah, once in a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Me too. Yeah? I was in a, an appointment for a position like uh, as, a, as a cooker. Mm -hmm. Assistant cooker. But it was very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. In England. Oh, is that right? Ah, I see. Okay. Well, is it so? so for, for some of you who have had regular business meetings, I want you to tell us: uh, Do you always agree with what everybody else is saying? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. It's just not reasonable to think that you're always going to agree with everything yeah. that's said, right? So what we're going to do is talk about how we can agree with people, but how we can disagree with them during a business meeting. Now, the challenge can sometimes be to disagree, but to do so in a polite way so that you don't offend anybody, right? Especially when you're not using your, your first language, that can be difficult. So let's talk about this for a couple of minutes. Imagine that you're in a meeting and you disagree with what somebody has said. How could you politely reply or make your point? What would you guys say? If we uh, do not agree on an idea or a subject, or, or I have another opinion. Oh, that's a good one. I beg I, to differ. Oh, 
good one. I have another opinion. I can say I, I like your idea, but I prefer some changes. Then, okay. Uh, Maybe I agree with you, but then such and such. I can mean. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of similar to Alice too. I liked your idea, but so that's that's a polite way. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anything else? I'm not sure about. For example. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure about. You might say I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. That's the best option. Perhaps we could. And then you just yeah. take. The, yeah. That's a good good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, welcome, Waji Malik, to the class, and Sharish, welcome to you as well. Okay, good. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to give you guys the link here, and um, there's the link for today's lessons based on that. Now, I'd like you guys to go there and listen to the audio clip. We're going to hear two people that have a different opinion on a particular issue. And what we want to do, we want to listen to it and we want to try to hear some of the different phrases that they use to agree and disagree with each other, okay? Now, what's okay. the best way to do it? Is the best way for me to play it for all of you to listen to or to listen to it yourself on your own computer? Oh, so you can try to play it for us? I will try. Yeah, sure. One second. Okay, just going to be a half a second here. Okay, we should have something here for you. The office move, as you know, the plans have been up by the main exit uh, for a week now. I just wanted to see what kind of feedback you've got. Yeah, Sean, I'm sorry, but I really strongly disagree with the, the new floor plan. I think it's divisive to separate the secretaries and assistants out from the editors and managers. I'd be much happier if we could be located in teams. Uh, actually, I think someone's right. I've been, I've been chatting to some of the secretaries, and they're quite keen to all be sitting in the same area. And speaking as an editor, I think I'd like to be with other editors so that we can bounce ideas off each other and things. So I think Sean's floor plan is, is right. Okay, there we have it. Now, was everybody able to hear okay? No. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that very Mario? well? Yes, uh, I could hear. Okay, okay, not very well. Some of you. Said. What's that? Okay, if you guys want, you can listen to the audio clip if you click on that link there, and you can listen to it. Now. If you go to the website that I just uh, that I just gave you, you'll actually see that the dialogue is written there. It's Sean, Tim, and Carrie. Do you guys all see that? Yes, I can see. Yes, yes, yeah? we can see. Okay, so that's the dialogue of what we just listened to. But you'll notice in bold there's some phrases that were used. Now, um, before we get into those particular phrases, what were some of the things that you guys noticed about that particular conversation between those three people? Uh, sorry. What's that, Allah? I I was listening to the audio. I didn't hear what you oh, said. Yeah, no problem. My question was, what did you note or what did you uh, recognize took place during that conversation. Was there anything that sort of stood out to you about the conversation? Yeah. Um, they were disagreeing about uh, a plan or something, and one of them, maybe we should uh, make a team. Yeah, yeah, okay, good, very good. Anything else, you guys? Mm -hmm. 
Now, when somebody disagreed, how did they how did they deal with the disagreement? They should listen to the other part. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Comprehend what he's trying to imply. Have Have you ever had anybody disagree with you, and then they're like really rude to you when they disagree? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but you learn how to deal with these uh, situations. Sometimes you just listen to them and wait till they come <coughs> down or try to just um, let it go for a while and the next day you can discuss it again. Yeah, exactly. Not in our, our way. Um, I have a question. Is it, um, are we supposed to, to make the same conversation, whether it's a woman or a female boss or a male boss? That's a very good question, Ala. Yeah, that's great. Um, what are some opinions out there? Do you guys think that it makes a difference if you speak if you're speaking to a man or a woman? If you're disagreeing with a man or if you're disagreeing with a woman, is there a difference? No, it is it is the same for me. Okay, okay. What it, what are some other opinions? I think it's the same. Same? It's a bit different, I think. A little different, Floor? Why, why do you think that? I think, I don't know, but I, I would be more polite, I think, if I would disagree with some, with a woman. Okay, okay, good, good, thank you for your opinion. So I think maybe it depends on culture a little bit. Um, Allah, in your culture, would it be different? Well, if I was the boss, of course, I would expect the employees to speak differently. Of course, I expect them to be polite, and uh, but what I mean is um, the way a woman think about projects is somehow different from a man's uh, way to speak about a project or something. When within a meeting, um, maybe, and this is my own opinion by the way, maybe women try to focus more on the emotions around the project, okay, while men they like to go directly to the results. Okay, it's, yeah. That's my yeah. own opinion. So, um, maybe they should consider that. If you try to convince someone with uh, an idea, we try to know the way he thinks about it. Right. Okay, I understand what you're saying. So sometimes there's different communication styles between man and woman. That's mm -hmm. very true. Now, I think it depends a little bit on culture. Now, for example, if you're doing business in the United States or with Americans or if you're doing business with, say, British people or Canadians, I know those cultures better than... Oh? <laughs> what is it doing? Uh, that's, that's fine. I just take this off ejected, that's all. All right, if you do that to the teacher, you get yourself ejected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, it depends a little bit on the culture. In those three cultures that I know mostly about, um, you, you, you would not treat a man or a woman really any different in business. You should always be polite, you should always talk the same way. Of course, sometimes men will talk a little bit softer with women than they will with other men. But a lot of women don't like that in, in these cultures. They prefer to be treated just the same and equal, and so it really depends, I suppose. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. What, what do you guys think? Is there any other opinions about that? What have you experienced? If you've had business meetings with American men or women, is there a difference?
Where did Mario go? Mario left. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what have you What have you found, Mario? Because you you have regular business meetings. Oh, I think there's no difference between uh, when you are in meetings. So we have a business to to do to make, and uh, the discussion it's around business. And sometimes you can you could be disagree with someone. But it's it's always uh, the um, it's part of the business, you know, and uh, you just have to be polite and to to bring somebody uh, around you uh, if you don't uh, agree with uh, someone or things like this. But this is the same between women and and uh, and and men. I, I don't think there's there's the difference. Right, right, yeah, yeah. I would agree with that. Um, again, I think it might depend. Uh, I think probably in some other cultures, it's things are a little bit different. But uh, anyways, we always want to be respectful of culture, don't we? Okay, very good. Any other questions? Okay, so let's try to do a little role-playing here now, shall we? We'll, we'll put together a situation and then you guys are going to have a conversation and somebody's going to disagree with something that somebody else said and we'll see how you can do it in a polite way. Now, if you look at the dialogue on that I've sent you, you could try to use that as sort of your model so that you can be polite and not offend the other person. Okay, so let's we're going to get you guys this feedback for the role playing. So, what should the what should the topic of conversation be? What do you guys think? Just throw some ideas out. We are supposed to read the same conversation or change everything? No, we can change it up a little bit. So um, what do you think the idea should be? Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, before we do that, let's do this role-playing exercise together first, and then we'll do another one separate. That way you guys will get a little more comfortable, okay? So who wants to be Sean? Let's have a man be Sean. Who would like to be Sean? Okay, I, I will try. Okay, perfect, Florin. You can be Sean. Who wants to be Tim? Okay, I am Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed, you're Tim. And who would like to be Carrie? Let's have a, a, a female. A woman. Kirsten. <laughs> yeah, I knew that Allah would volunteer. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Good. So now you want to try and make it sound as real as possible, all right? Okay. Okay, everybody else, we're going to follow along to the dialogue. Uh, question, please. Uh, with yes. Uh, what's your document? Uh, Meetings, any other business or the other one? Agree, agreeing and disagreeing. Agreeing and disagreeing. Okay, thank you. Okay, I, I start. Uh, the office move, as you know, the plan, the plans have been up by the main exit for a week now. I've just wanted to see what kind of feedback you've got. Yeah, Jean. I'm sorry, but I really strongly disagree with the new floor plan. I think it's uh, uh, a to separate the secretaries and assistant out from the editors and the managers. I'd be much happier if we could be located in teams. Um, actually, I think Sean is right. I've been chatting to some of the secretaries and they are quite keen to all be sitting in the same area and speaking as an editor I think I think I'd like to be with other editors so that we can um, bounce ideas of each other and things so I think Sean's floor plan is, is right okay very good very good that was well done so how did Tim how did Tim express his disapproval what did he uh, say? I am sorry. He said, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, he said sorry first, so that was polite. And then what did he say? 
but but right strongly uh, disagree disagree right so we can keep that in mind i'm sorry but i have a different opinion now he he was being forceful cuz he said i strongly disagree so he had a completely different opinion so you know we might um, use that term, or we might say, I have a slightly different opinion if we wanted to be even a little more tactful, right? But then what did he do at the end? Um, he showed be... a positive way of mm -hmm. changing. About uh, the feeling. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, and you notice that he was very, because it's business, so he was to the point, right? He said, he didn't like beat around the bush is an expression. He didn't like, he said exactly what would make him happy. What would make him happy? Uh, if we, if, we, the, if we could, yeah, if, yeah. Okay, good. So that's something we could keep in mind. I'd be happier if, and explain exactly what it is that you're looking for. All right, and then Carrie, she agreed. How did she agree? She agreed. She said, uh, I think he's right. I think Sean's right. Right, okay. And then she right. gave a proof that she has been talking to some of the secretaries and she spoke about their feelings and their ideas. Okay, perfect, perfect. So that's right. Now, let's try to use a similar format and let's do, let's do it again. We'll have three people. We're going to make up our own role playing now, but you can try to use this as your model, okay? So, first of all, what should the conversation be about? What do you guys think? Um, to cut the budget. Okay. <laughs> it's a business meeting to cut the budget on what department? We're going to cut the budget on what department? Let's say the cleaning department, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to cut, somebody wants to cut the budget on the cleaning department. Okay, who wants to be that person? Let's have Let's have Max. Are you listening? Are you participating, Max? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So you're gonna be you're gonna be the number one guy, and you're gonna start the business meeting, and you're gonna explain that you think that they should we should cut the budget on the cleaning department. For and you give me you give us a reason why. Okay. You think of your own reason why. Now, the next person is going to strongly disagree with that and the reason why is because that person works in the cleaning department okay so who who's gonna be the person that works in the cleaning department how about Waji Waji Mal Malik are you there okay Waji's not uh, participating no problem how about Fan how about are you there Fan Fan? Okay, fans. They are shy. They're shy, yeah. Well, that's okay. You maybe maybe Allah it would be a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I can be that person who uh, oh. works in the uh, cleaning department. Okay, so you're the cleaning department okay. and you are going to strongly disagree and you're going to explain why you strongly disagree. You, you think of your own reason why, okay? Okay. okay. And then somebody's going to agree with Ahmed. How about we choose Jose? Jose Ruiz, are you there? Uh, yes, but I am lost. <laughs> You're lost? Yes, about the, the exercise. I don't know where it is. Okay, we're doing some role playing. Can you can you write the the link again? Uh, sure. I'll tell you what. I'll give you the link, and we'll come back to you later. Okay? Because to explain it all again would take us a little bit too much 
uh, time. So let's have. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Let's have Florin then. Florin, you're going to come in and you're going to agree and you're going to give your reason why you agree. Okay. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> okay. Good. So remember, the idea is the things we want to keep in mind are we want to be polite. But we, we want to be clear and concise because it's business, so you want to say exactly how you feel but in a polite way. So with that in mind, everybody, get ready. Are you ready? Max is first. Are you ready, Max? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Should I begin? Yes, please. That'd be great. Uh, uh, I'm I'm the manager of the cleaning department. Uh, and, uh, who is the customer? Okay, you're the ma you're the cleaning. You would think that you need to cut the budget on the cleaning department. That's that's your role. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut off the. Uh, cleaning department budget uh, because of um, we can afford uh, buy new cleaning uh, cleaning things. Mm. We can afford funds. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, Max. Uh, but uh, uh, <laughs> I was uh, thinking before that uh, you might raise the budget not. Cut really, you know, this department is one of the most important departments we got here, the company. Uh, so uh, I would be so happy if you can change your mind. Uh, as although I must reduce uh, uh, reduce the, this uh, fund because of uh, there is no enough money to f uh, to effort to buy new things. That's why how how can we how can we uh, keep this fund? It's impossible. Uh, can we uh, uh, can we uh, have a look again at this problem? Yeah, uh, we might uh, have another uh, solution uh, instead of uh, cut this budget uh, in this department. We can uh, see maybe we can find uh, some solutions. What, what is the solution? Okay, instead of uh, uh, cut this budget, yeah, uh, we can uh, create some, um, um, for example, uh, something could uh, could help our budget and raise it more. Okay, uh, now now we have somebody come in and agree agree with uh, you, Ahmed. That was Jose, right? Jose, are you there? I think I should... Or should, uh, Jose, I... Which part? Which part do I play? <laughs> Sorry, I... I lost the track. Um, no, it wasn't you, Florin. It was Jose, I think. Oh, okay. Wasn't it? Oh, no, maybe it was you, Florin. You were supposed to agree with Ahmed. Yeah, okay. Um, and then you give a reason why you... Actually, agree. I think Ahmed is right. We should find another solution because, you know, last time when we cut the budget, the whole office was a mess. I think Ahmed is right. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent job. Applauso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. So, um, what did you guys think about that? Yeah, very good job. Yeah, I thought they did well. They did well. They tried to follow the outline. So that was good. Good practice for us. Any questions? No. <laughs> no. No questions, no concerns? Okay. No uh, problem. A question was yes. 
uh, why the time we uh, start to um, uh, I mean uh, to make a role play, we feel uh, hesitant and uh, I mean this feeling uh, we are not able to express. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. It's a good, yeah. you know, it's, I, sometimes people when they're put on the spot, like when they're asked to perform, they just naturally get nervous, right? Mm -hmm. and, that's, and then other people, sometimes you ask, you put them on the spot and they naturally get all excited. And yeah, that's why, <laughs> that's what I want really. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, why, why is that, Mario? I don't know it. Maybe you depend on personality. Maybe you shy. Uh, when you like you, you were said, uh, if you put someone in the spot on TV, someone can talk and say anything. Uh, others can be just uh, mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they go. They go mute exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, which way are you, Mario? Oh, I think, uh, oh, but <laughs> I, I'm not, uh, in, in real life, I'm not, I'm quite uh, reserved. And uh, in business, I, it's uh, different. It's really different because uh, I've been many, I've been doing this for a long time and now I'm used to get in the meeting and I'm so, don't have to be, to be, to be scared uh, talking. <laughs> right, right. You have okay. to be sure. You have to be sure. If you have a presentation, uh, something, you have to uh, pers persuade people to to listen to you. And so you, you have to just uh, jump in it. And uh <laughs> okay. So you um, would you agree then that you have to? You have to state your opinion clearly and concisely, and and not yes. around the bush. Or, or um, always to the point. Mm -hmm. Always to the point, and you have to. Uh, in my job, I am I'm, I'm, um, in technical assistant director, so I've uh, work on uh, complicated workflow. I don't know if you know that word. No. Workflow is something to. Uh, a way to to think about uh, the way people have to to work together, so you bring process to make people follow the process, mm -hmm. and then the, you have to sell the the idea. You have to bring oh. it uh, intelligently, not to brusque uh, people. You people have to be very confident when. They listen to you. you. You don't have to have the feeling that you will. You are going to force them to doing something that that they they don't want to. Say so right. you. You have to bring uh, people around you, uh, explaining why it's better to work this way. Right. And, like you, said, uh, you have to sell the idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get have to to yeah. What, what what do you think, Allah? Yeah, I said these are good tips for for work. Cause mm -hmm. uh, in in your work, you you deal with different people with different personalities, and uh, when you are selling a product, you, you have to to believe in in it and to make people believe in it the same. Right, right. If you were like, yeah, I. Th I think this product is really good. You guys should buy it. Yeah. yeah. What would happen? I will not. Nobody's <laughs> going to buy it. <laughs> so, what do you have to do, Max? How do you have to act? Um, first, oh, yeah, first, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna cut. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna cut cut off Allah's salary. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Why me? Why? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give her um, this a kind of punishment. <laughs> Why that? <laughs> uh, because of um, uh, she is forcing uh, her situation. Uh, that's why the, you know the I'm manager. 
and uh, I'm seeing her I can afford uh, I can afford this budget uh, to buy uh, cleaning material and uh, mm. uh, he's she's persis uh, uh, persistent? Persistent. She's, yeah persistent uh, behaving uh, you know the, the uh, personality mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why she's getting me angry <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, <laughs> she wasn't uh, Ahmed. <laughs> he was Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It was me. Uh, okay, anyhow, uh, how, how doesn't could change you, Max? Situation. How could you, Max, confuse my voice with Ahmed's voice? Uh, you know, I am the manager, and uh, I can decide on my own, and uh, and. He doesn't even um, create uh, a solution. <laughs> That's why uh, we can solve this problem. And uh, how how can I find out this uh, problem? So you just fi so you just fire them. <laughs> yeah. There is there is no solution. Just saying I am I'm gonna solve this problem, but there is no result. Okay, Max, just calm down, calm down. <laughs> we can talk later about that. <laughs> I well, should probably find another work. I'm not going to work with you, Max, no. Oh, okay. Max. Uh, it, 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 this had better. Um, I'm going to uh, cut off uh, both of your salary, <laughs> Allah and Ahmad. This had, that's better, and uh, I'm going to buy new uh, clinic material. It's get it's had better. Okay, let's let's yeah, make deal. Let, let's do. make deal, Max. If I if uh, if I uh, find the solution, yeah, you might change your mind and uh, <laughs> give me a raise. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get a raise. <laughs> what do you think, Max? Hello. <laughs> there? This is the real solution. I don't know. Yeah, Max. Mm. Max. Uh, maybe uh, we can buy new clinic material uh, one month later. You okay. have to wait for a while. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Well, there you go. So now everybody knows that Max would be a hard manager to work for. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's it's not gonna easy at do all. The job. What's that, Florin? He's going to do all the job by himself because he won't have any employee. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's going to be working by himself. Mario, have you ever, have you ever worked for a, a boss uh, like Max? Uh, <laughs> yes, maybe, maybe uh, sometime. Yes, uh, a, short, a long time ago. <laughs> Is, uh, uh, Mario, are, are you like uh, Max in the business meetings? You're like very forceful and like, no, no, the, no. You no. agree with me, or I'll fire you. <laughs> 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 no, but I think what I think, yeah, uh, those people who has uh, this uh, personality, I mean, uh, very strict, uh, they are um, the easiest people to to treat with or to deal with. But there is a way to deal with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? But the yeah, yeah, but and yeah. That's, that's the way. Yeah, because uh, they're just like this. I mean, uh, how to say? Um, uh, they like to be. Uh, uh, not on spot, but I mean, um, you they might uh, need just uh, some uh, some interest. We can. Hello, everybody. Uh, they need yeah, someone just uh, to ag to agree with them at the beginning. Then hello. Uh, in can, some way, we can we can, can give can uh, our me? ideas. We can pers persuade them. Can anyone hear me? We can hear you, Mohammed. We're actually in the middle of our class, so I'm just going to mute I'll your microphone, you. okay? Yeah, I think you're. I think you're Hello. right. Hello. Yeah. Mohammed, we can hear Hello. you. We're actually in the middle of our class here, so um, you just have to mute your microphone, okay? All right, let's continue, shall we?
So we've got about 15 minutes left. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take us to uh, the other section, which is uh, uh, that I told you guys that we would look at today. And uh, that is this section here about raising um, other ideas at a business meeting. So for example, there might be a few things on the agenda and then you have something that you would like to raise on the agenda. Now, Mario, do you have experience with that? Uh, to bring something on, uh, yes, yes. To bring up another that. issue that wasn't, that hasn't been discussed previously. Okay, mm -hmm. so how how do you go about doing that? Um, that's depend because we are many to concerned by this thing, and so we have just to follow a, a guide. Uh, and just uh, talk about this, uh, this point during the meeting and then uh, maybe bring uh, some solution and then uh, uh, give another uh, appointment for another meeting to see if uh, all these points have been uh, f um, covered. Covered, yes. Okay, Thanks. okay, good. Yeah, no, that's no problem. So, is it true that uh, in your does your chairman of your business meetings does the chairman sometimes before he closes the meeting will he say like is there anything else any other any other business that we need to take care of will he ask that? No, not in our situation because we when we uh, organize a meeting it's, it's always about something very precise. And we talk about this thing, and then uh, when the meeting is over, we we it's over, and so we we are going to to bring another meeting to see if things been uh, covered. Okay, okay, I see, yeah. I see. All right. Um, now, what will happen sometimes, in, in depending on you know, I guess the job mm -hmm. is the chairman will have an agenda, which he will give to everybody. And then sometimes at the end of the agenda, there is an opportunity for people to add, maybe raise their own uh, idea or their own uh, subject. And usually just a few minutes at the end of the meeting, that's kind of an open table discussion and people can raise their concerns or questions, okay? So that's what we're going to sort of talk about now is how we can do that, how we can raise... Um, uh, raise another business point to discuss, okay? So what are some ideas? Let's say that I'm the chairman of the meeting and I say to you guys, um, is there any other business, any other things that you guys would like to add before we conclude the meeting? What might you say? Any ideas? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, I would say... Hello? Yep. Yeah, go mm -hmm. ahead. Welcome to the class. Um. Go ahead, Eamon. Did you have a... did you have a comment? Okay, Ala, what was your comment? Yeah, uh, when we... Yes, I, uh, I would say uh, yes. I totally agree with what you have just said, sir. Hello, can hear? Can oh, hear? Sure. Hello. Okay. Thank you very much, Eamon, for your comment there. Now um, that's what we were discussing. I think as as our last subject. And now we're talking about uh, raising other business. So, for example, if you have something else that you would like to add to the agenda, mm -hmm. how could you raise that? Ale, what's your, what's your thought here? Uh, no, let's just go to the document. Okay, let's take a look at it. Waste any time, yeah. Okay, sure. No problem. So, uh, let's take a look at um, the document here. And I will put it there. There's the PDF file. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what we can do is we can have some people read through the transcript. Who would like to be Sean? I'd like to. Okay, you can be Sean. And who wants to be Will? Okay. Okay, sure, you can be Will. All right, let's go ahead and do this together, shall we? Okay, okay come in when you're ready, Eamon. Okay. Uh, okay, other... Okay, any others? Any other business? Um, yes, uh, I would like to say well, something. Um, an illustrator came in last week and I think she's very good and it would be wise to put her on all or our books. Okay. I, I would like to be able to show her drawings and her portfolio in the next uh, couple of days if that's uh, all right, of course. Oh, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. Yes, I look forward to seeing those. Right. I think that's probably about it. But anybody got anything else at that? They desperately want to rise before we, wore up, we wrap up. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. We will be having another meeting. But there are a couple of conflicts in the diary, I, so I think the best thing if I email the date of the next meeting. Okay, there we go. So that's what you were mentioning there, Max, about re starting uh, having another meeting to discuss the other points, right? Mm -hmm. so that's what that's what uh, not Max, sorry, not Max, Mario. That's what Mario was mentioning earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, very good. Now, any questions about that dialogue? No. Okay. Yes, I do have some question about uh, vocabulary. Vocabulary? How do yes. you pronounce it first? Yeah, vocabulary. vocabulary. Okay. Vocabulary. Uh, it's about the word uh, this par uh, desperately. Mm -hmm. Desperately. Desperately, yes. Desperately. Do you want to try to say it, Eamon? Desperately. Desperately, desperately. Okay, good. Now, uh, just try it again without um, without breaking up the syllable so much. So instead of saying desperately, just say desperately. 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 Good. Desperately. Good. One more time. No, it's good. desperate. Desperately. Yeah, desperately. 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 Okay. Okay, keep practicing. Keep practicing. Yeah, the more you say it, the more comfortable it will be. Okay. Okay, good. Any other questions? Uh, yes, please. I have a question. Yeah. Okay, uh, sure. Yeah, the word nope. <clears throat> uh, is it uh, common? I mean, uh, do people uh, answer by using nope or no? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm not sure if I. Oh, to say nope. Is that what you uh, mean? No, nope. Yes. Yeah, um, nope, it's kind of like, I'd be probably a little bit more, a little bit more casual, I suppose, uh, a little yeah. bit more mm -hmm. informal, but it's okay, yeah, no or nope, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, any other questions? Hi, everybody, I think I've got a question. Okay, now let's go ahead. Welcome. Um, yeah, uh, what about, um, are you talking about right now about business, is it? That's right. Okay, cool. So, um, I just heard like you. It's kind of you moving the meeting through. I mean, I heard like this. You you're going to discuss the meeting in the future. Right. Yes. Yeah. But what you what you want to discuss the meeting in the future? And I mean, as you got like the choice to discuss it right now. I mean, if you go to meeting, you just can't discuss everything in the same time in one day. What you need to? I mean, leave it. On next day, or next time, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. 
Yeah. You're exactly right. You can't uh, you can't cover everything in one day. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. So if somebody raises a really imp let's say that the chairman says, "Okay, is there any other business?" and somebody raises mm -hmm. quite a large topic, what would be the best thing to do in your opinion then, Nast? I mean to try to discuss uh, um to discuss like um the business from the I mean from the big uh, from from the starter to the end. Start. I mean, uh, basically, when we when we talk about business, we need to talk, we need to see and all and every single part of the business, which means like finance business and um, quality you got and which kind of product you're gonna have, which kind of I mean, how many customer you, you think you're gonna have in the future. I mean, so basically, it's all. Um, how do I say? Um, having yeah, money. Uh, uh, yeah, the details. You mean? <laughs> no, no, the details. I know when you're talking. You're talking everything about every single details. That's normal. So, um, just I forgot the word. To be honest. <laughs> okay, that's no problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think so. Uh, if I am understanding you correctly, I believe you're saying that if somebody raises a particular issue, then you need time to discuss all the different facets of that issue before a final decision is made. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Right, right. Okay. And sometimes that can take a lot of time. So if somebody raises a rather large issue that you know is going to take an hour or two hours and you don't have time right then, then you do what Mario said. You say, okay, we're going to set up another meeting to discuss this. Everybody, you can go and do your own homework and bring it to the table when we have our next meeting, right? Is that right, Mario? Yes. Yes. Is that what, is that yeah, what that, you do, Nas? Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. That's it. Yeah, sometimes it's um, tough. Total. Yeah, especially when you, you've been... Uh, uh, for two hours in a meeting, and uh, it's it's no no, and you're very angry, and uh, somebody raises a subject, uh, so you just have to report it for the next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know what's funny is sometimes somebody raises something and they make a big deal of something that's not really. <laughs> it's maybe a big deal to them and maybe like one other person, but to the other ten people that are in the meeting. It means mm -hmm. nothing. So they're all sitting there going like, come on, I don't want to do no. <laughs> Am I right? Has that ever happened, Maria? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is another, another meeting, not, not uh, the good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, especially with the women meetings, they do that. <laughs> what kind of meetings, Ala? When the women are meeting. Oh, that, that can be they true. They do that oh. most of the time, yeah. So it's important to stick to the agenda, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And the ch a good chairman will do what? To make sure. He will uh, organize the next meeting, I think. Mm-hmm. He'll organize the next meeting. What will he do to make sure that it doesn't get off topic too much? He should be the one who... Um, um, coordinates everyone's meeting and the ideas, not to let uh, his employees take over the meeting. Yeah, um, you're right. Maybe waste time or waste each other's energy by talking about important subjects. Mm, yeah, exactly. And if a lot of people start talking about something that's not on the agenda, then he has to say, okay, everybody, let's get back on topic here mm -hmm. and he needs to uh, be sometimes a little bit forceful, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good stuff, everybody. Well, uh, this is going to be the end of this class and then I'm going to start the next one here in, right away. So we'll shut this one down. But a fantastic job by all of you in our business class for today. And for some of you, you have regular business meetings, so I hope that this was helpful for you. For some sure. others, you don't have regular business classes, but uh, you know we were able to learn some new vocabulary and do some role playing. So I hope that you found that useful as, as well.
But this is going to be the end of this one, and then we're going to fire up the next class here in just a couple of moments. So we'll see you guys over there if you have time for another lesson, okay? Okay, Wes. Okay, Wes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Take care.